Hello friends, this is Manoj Goel from the Wall Street School. In the past 12 plus years, we have placed thousands of candidates in the field of investment banking. And our students have ranged from graduate, postgraduate, experienced professionals who are looking for change in their profile. Friends, there is always a common theme of questions among them. How hard it would be for them to get into the field of investment banking? To address all these questions, we have created this video to explain what are the various segments of investment banking. What skill set is required to get into each segment of investment bank? Opportunities in the field of investment banking as compared to other fields of finance. How difficult it would be to stay into investment banking once you have got into this? And most importantly, how we at the Wall Street School can help you in getting into investment banking domain with our network of 200 plus recruiters who recruit from us. So if you are interested in knowing whether this field is right for you, do watch this video till end. Let's get started. Hello everyone, I hope all of you are fit, fine and safe. In this video, I'll be addressing perhaps the most frequently, repetitively asked question to us. That is, is it difficult for me to get into investment banking? Is it difficult for me to become an investment banker? And if you don't want to watch the entire video, if you feel that you are busy doing something, let me tell you, yes, it is difficult to some extent. It is a niche industry. Obviously, everyone cannot work. You need a particular set of skills to be there. But at the same time, hundreds of candidates are being placed every month into this industry. So it's difficult, yes, but it's not that difficult as you assume it to be. So I'll be answering this question. Is it very difficult to get into investment banking? In a structured way, I have given you a one very rough, vague answer. And then I'll be talking about more important question. Is it difficult to continue working in an investment bank? See, getting a job is a different thing. But to work in that industry for next 20 years, 30 years, that's a question to be answered. That's a question you have to think about. So in this video, I'll be trying to answer that. First of all, I'll be addressing what are the various floors in an investment bank. Like every person working in an investment bank is not an investment banker. You could be a trader and still working in an investment bank, right? So I'll be talking about various floors, various jobs that you can look for, various divisions in an investment bank. After that, I'll be answering what are the skills that you are required to have to get into each floor. If you want to be a trader, then what? If you want to be wealth management, then what? If you want to be ECM, DCM, then what? Right? Then I'll be addressing what are the opportunities that are available to you? Is it as good as it was 10 years back, 15 years back? Or just the glamour term is attached to this investment banking? And there are other better options available to you guys. Like supply chain management, it's becoming very popular this day, these days. Uh, fintech very becoming very popular these days. So how big is this opportunity? Is it really making sense to get into investment banking as of today? Then I'll be answering, is it difficult to be in investment banking, to continue working in an investment banking firm? And then finally, I'll be concluding this video with my own thoughts and my own experience. So let us start. First of all, investment banking floors. In a bulge bracket investment bank, in a very big investment bank that is providing all kinds of services at all kinds of geographies, you can expect four broad floors, basically four broad divisions, investment banking division, IBD, wealth management, research firm, and a trading and brokerage floor, right? Under investment banking division, you have M&As and you have capital markets, you have ECM, DCM, that is equity capital markets and debt capital markets right this is basically the core investment bank like the reason why investment banking firms existed for m and a's and to raise funds then with as the time passed they expanded into other divisions also so wealth management is one of them then research floor very popular these days equity research commodity research fixed income research especially equity research is becoming very popular in india and then trading and brokerage. So you have proprietary trading as well as trading for clients. In this prop trading desk, investment banks use its own funds. And in trading for clients, it uses the funds of clients to generate profits for them. And they charge commission for that, right? This is broadly how an investment bank is structured, broadly. 
right? There could be subdivisions of subdivisions, but I'm not getting into that. Okay, so this is broadly the structure. Now let us talk about the skills required to get into these floors. So if you want to get into M&A, ECM, equity capital markets and debt capital markets, then the skills that you need is financial modeling, valuations, you should be very good with Excel. You should be very good with PowerPoint. You should be very good, very, very good with sales negotiation. You should having, you should have some knowledge about law, not much, but some knowledge will help some knowledge about accounting, financial reporting, especially gap and IFRS, right? These are broadly the things that you should know, especially financial modeling, valuations, knowledge of accounting, Excel and PPT is must. Sales and negotiation skill is something that you can learn over time from your seniors, from uh, being in uh, various meetings, seeing your seniors, how they negotiate, how they pitch a deal to a client, you can learn over time. Then in due diligence, you need very good knowledge of accounting, very good knowledge of law. This is something very important in due diligence. This will help you to do financial due diligence as well as legal due diligence, right? Then fixed income research, equity research and commodity research. You should have a very good grip over global economy. Then you should have a very good grip over if you are into fixed income research, then government treasuries. If you're into equity research, stock markets. In both of them, you need a very good, a good grip over interest rates, central banks policies. Then in commodity research, you need global economy knowledge. You need knowledge about a particular sector. Like if you are tracking crude, so you should be having very good knowledge of crude. You are tracking, say, gold. You should be having very good knowledge of about gold. Like currently, many people are saying that Bitcoin will be replacing gold very soon. It will be taking over market cap of gold. But at the same time, the charts are suggesting gold is on the verge of breakout, like a very good run over the top. So like you need to be able to process all this information and make good decisions for your clients. Then trading desk. Earlier, you used to have very good knowledge of technical analysis. Nowadays, they use high frequency trading, algo trading. So you need to be very good with maths. You need to be very good with statistics. Then wealth management, you need trust firstly. You, you should be a person who could client could trust then you should have knowledge of tax planning. You should have knowledge of equity markets, broader knowledge, not a very deep knowledge. You should have knowledge of various debt instruments, government policies, right? Broadly highlighted. What are the skills that you need? What is the knowledge that you need to be working in this division, in this industry? Okay. Before we move ahead and before I answer this question, is it difficult to get into investment banking? Let me address the query. Is it even worth getting into investment banking? Is this industry becoming old? Is this industry not any more relevant? Should you actually try to get into this investment banking industry? Is it worth your trying? I think I have already told you the skills that you need. So these skills plus some element of luck will help you get a job into an investment bank. But at the same time, you need to be very sure whether this industry will be relevant from five years, 10 years, 10 years, uh, 20 years down the line. How big is this opportunity? So before I tell you how big is this opportunity, let me tell you this industry is 400 plus years old. That is in 16th century also, there was existence of real investment banks. Investment banks were helping for governments to raise funds. So this industry was there have evolved very much over time and this industry will continue to be in existence in my lifetime and in your lifetime. And this industry is not becoming old. This is rather growing. How fast it is growing? Around 9%, around 9%. 
Currently, it is around 111 billion dollars. If you want to convert this into Indian rupees, this is around 8 lakh crore rupees industry. This is very, very, very big opportunity. Very big opportunity. If you, if you can grab a very small percentage, a very small percentage of this industry, you could make millions and billions of dollars for yourself. Right? So this industry is not going anywhere. Fintech is coming. Other things are also coming. But this industry is the core. This industry is not going anywhere. In 2025, this industry is expected to be around $140 billion. In matter of four years, this industry will go around 30-40%. So if industry is growing at this pace, I don't think I need to tell you that you should get onto this train and make your career also grow. Now, let me address the elephant in the room. Is it difficult to get into investment banking? No, it's not that difficult if you have relevant skills. If you have relevant skills, if you don't have relevant skills, you cannot get into this industry, right? Let me give you my personal example. I gave an interview, 50 candidates were there and I think one or two of us were selected, like very few candidates were selected. The selection rate is hardly like what? One by 50, two by 50, very low, very low, right? So it is difficult. But it's not that difficult that you cannot land into it if you have relevant skills. But the important question, the major question is after getting into this industry, can you be working in investment banking firm for long term? And this is where investment banking sucks. That is, it becomes very difficult, very difficult for you to keep working in this industry for long term. You'll ask why? Why is it so? There are three primary reasons. The first one is the very long working hours, very long working hours. You will be working around 80 hours to 100 hours per week, per week. So long working hours, very less social life. Your colleagues are the people you are surrounded with. Very less family time, very less me time. At the same time, you get rewarded. You will earn a lot. But at the same time, you will not have much time for your family, for yourself. There will be extreme work pressures. You will be handling one, two, three projects at a time. There will be deadlines you'll have to meet. There will be last minute changes in your model, in your valuations, in your Excel sheet, in your PowerPoints, in your teasers, in your IMs. So because of that, it becomes difficult to like to take on these pressures every time, every time. And then there is some repetitive nature of work. So you read reports, you prepare financial models, you prepare teasers, you prepare IMs, information memorandums, you send it, uh, you send these documents over email to clients, you wait for the reply, you do again the same thing for other projects. So this kind of a repetitive process, you are doing the same kind of work again and again, again and again, again and again. Broadly, right, if you are say on, if you reach MD position, obviously you will be not preparing financial models or you'll not be preparing teasers, you'll be meeting clients. But to reach to MD level, you need to invest 10 years. You need to be in this industry for 10 years. So during that 10 years, it will be a very repetitive kind of work, right? Now I want to address one more thing. I think this is the dark side of investment banking that at least we feel it is our responsibility to tell you guys, investment banking is accused of very long working hours and this is something everyone cannot handle everyone cannot handle get this everyone cannot work 80 hours to 100 hours per week if he is not in love with his work let me show you some reports this older data gs goldman sachs restricts interns working these are interns mind you to 17 hours in the wake of burnout death some person died because of working excessively this never happened in india this is i think usa if you have watched this web series called as industry like some sort of event very similar event was repeated in that this is something that is that is to be told to you guys obviously everyone is not dying everyone is not dying working in an investment bank but at the same time it impacts you mentally physically it impacts you then another article came First year investment bankers at investment bank Goldman have warned that they might quit unless their grueling working conditions improve. 
an internal survey among 13 employees averaged they averaged around 95 hours of work week and slept 5 hours in a night 95 hours work week like you are working more than 12 hours in a day then reply to this is over here the chief executive of goldman sachs said that it's great a group of young analysts raised concern about working condition in investment firm you can read what he said then just remember if we all go an extra mile for our client even when we feel that we are reaching our limit it can really make a difference in our performance so the point that i am here to make is it is difficult to get into investment bank for sure but relevant skills can help you to crack an interview of an investment bank but to work in an investment bank for a long period only your love for your job will help you do that after a while believe me money is not a motivation money is not a motivation you love to do that job is the motivation your job is making difference in the life of people is the motivation and at the wall street school we always want to make a difference in the life of people that's why i want to bring you the good side as well as the dark side of the investment banking okay with that being said whether to keep working in an investment bank or not is your call to take after 2 3 4 years but our primary responsibility is to help candidates to join an investment bank if they join our certification and financial modeling and valuations flagship course explaining all the details about the course i have made one entire video and have uploaded it on youtube called as financial modeling course details overview curriculum placement and trainers etc what i have covered in this video is i have talked about what we are going to learn in this how we are going to learn in this program duration of the program and modes of delivery then i have talked about who will be essentially your classmates who can take up this course ca cfa mba engineers other graduates working professionals then i have covered what will be the curriculum that we will be taught from basic financial modeling to advanced financial modeling preparing financial model of a listed company doing intrinsic valuation public company analysis precedent transaction analysis preparing football field and finally a test i have talked about the trainers who will be teaching you so who are the trainers what are their work experience where they have been working are the industry veterans or just giving you bookish knowledge then i have talked about placement process also how you can apply for the placement process and then i have talked about where the candidates are placed the companies in which candidates are placed and the profile in which they are placed uh, from our institute the locations that uh, at which they are placed the salary that you can expect so if in case you are interested please go and watch that video i'll be providing link for that video in the description below thank you for watching this video If in case you have any queries or comments feel free to reach us at the wallstreetschool.com or in the comment section below thank you